Hi, this is JC Faxis from Guitar Center, and with me today I have Mr. John Shower from Yamaha. So John, tell me, what do you have for us today? Oh, well today I brought one of the new MG series mixers for us to check out. Uh, this is uh, our entry level line of mixers that have been completely redone. They're just now starting to show up in the stores. We've got them from six channels up to 20, some with effects, some without. And uh, they have all new Class A mic preamplifiers, very good, pristine audio quality. And we use our single knob compressors. You get a lot of features that you wouldn't find in mixers at these price points. A nice heavy chassis, uh, built-in SPX effects processor, so you get the real high quality reverb as well. Okay. Now, how many are in the line? Um, well, there's a total of 10 mixers. Okay. So uh, there five of them have effects. Five of them don't have effects. Okay, so you got a lot of knobs. This is a pretty heavy duty mixer. Yeah, this is one of the larger ones in the family. This is our entry line though. This mixer has 16 total inputs. Some customers probably have never seen this type of connector. What we found is a what they call a combi connector. And this allows you to put both a quarter inch or an XLR in the same connector spot. So we saved a lot of space by not having to have. Okay, and while you're at it, um, why don't you tell me a little bit about the mic pre's. In the MG line, we use the same mic preamplifiers that we're using in our recording interfaces as well. These are Class A discrete mic pre's. So when I say discrete, I mean they're made of uh, separate parts on a circuit board, not a chip. Okay. Um, and Class A means uh, the amplifier design itself is nice and clean, and it's our most pure form okay. to get you the kind of gain you're looking for. All right, and I see you got a pad on here. So depending on what you plug in, yeah, and exactly. what you're going to mic. Yeah, a lot of times uh, if you're going to use a regular microphone, you're going to want a, a, a lot of gain. Yeah. And then if you plug in a synthesizer or something, with a drum machine, something yeah. like that, you'll want to pad this input or load it down a little bit so that you, you get a better sound out of it. Okay, and all your knobs are color-coded. Let's start... Um, the white ones are your mic pre's. Yeah, these right? are your, well, we call them gain. Your gains. Um, or, or, and some, some people call them mic pre's or, or whatever, but gain, yes. Okay, and then tell me about the yellow ones. Uh, the yellow knobs are COMP, that's what they're labeled. It's a, it's a compressor. It's a single knob compressor. The idea was we wanted to give you something that would uh, help you tame uh, some of your more unruly vocals, maybe get a bass guitar to really stand out better in your mix. The compressor will allow you to do that. But as you remember, back in the day, we'd have to put that in an insert, and you'd have to learn how to operate the thing. It had input and output and attack and release. So we put it all in one knob, so it was easy for you to just dial up the amount of compression you're looking for. And it's not on every channel. You'll notice there's only eight channels of it here because we know most folks don't need it on all their inputs. Right, if you're, if you're playing back pre-recorded music, it's probably already at a pretty certain level. Exactly. So you want it on your microphones, you want it on bass and drums, yeah. anything yeah, you drums are drums are a perfect place for using compression. Okay. Absolutely. And then let's step over to your EQ. Your green section, correct? Yes, sir. On a, any Yamaha mixer, when you see green knobs, you're looking at EQ. On this board uh, and, and on the upper level of the MG line, you get uh, three bands of EQ. And there's four knobs here. That's because the mid is sweepable. Okay. So that you can really get in there and get that vocal. Find the, the frequency you want and you either cut it or boost it. Yeah, it helps pull the vocals out, things like that. Okay. And then your blue section, auxiliary? Yeah, absolutely. The, this is a an area of the mixer that's often confusing for uh, first-time operators. Auxes are normally used for monitor sends on stage. The white knob here is one of the aux sends as well that sends to the internal effect that's in the unit as well. So tell me a little bit about the effect in here. Yamaha pioneered the uh, digital signal processing for sound fields in uh, back in the late 80s. And uh, SPX has been a name that all sound engineers really know and, and understand. But the SPX lineup gave us some of the best reverbs and delays that you can get. So we put 24 of them in here for you. And we've used presets that an engineer that actually gigs came up with so that when you call up that preset, you're gonna be really close to where you need to be. Okay, and then what's the red button, your pan? This is where you pan, or panorama from left to right. Okay. In your mix, if you're recording, obviously you can use your pan a little bit more than you would in, in live sound, because you don't wanna go too drastic with your panning. Okay, and you got your balanced outs. Yeah, that's a, since most guys are now using the powered speakers yeah. for, for their mains, that balanced out lets you go a long way without having to worry about uh, all right, John, I also noticed that you have a, a USB port on the back. Yeah, the USB on any of the units with a U get USB I.O. And that's a stereo, two-track in, two-track out. 
Um, it supports up to 192K, 24-bit recording, but it's class compliant, meaning that when you plug into it with your computer, you're gonna be able to record to whatever software you already have on your computer, you just pick it as a device. So we have a free app that uh, you can get that goes along with the recording on the uh, MG series mixers. All you need is your camera connection kit for your Apple device and your USB cable, and you're immediately gonna be able to record straight out to this app, which has a SoundCloud connection. So it immediately puts your recordings up on the cloud, and then you can share them with anybody, and it'd be very easy for you to get uh, your music out to the people you wanna share it with quickly. Thanks, John. Check out the Yamaha MG Series mixers at Guitar Center stores or guitarcenter.com.